Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm about ready to be done with this place for good. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So, why don't we do what we need to do to finally put an end to the Sanctuary Fortress? Getting some of those keys and maybe some power-ups, maybe? Well, just like the last two, the last key is right where we need to go. It's right on the way to the temple. Cool. Oh, fighting a boss too? Well, it'd be weird if they if they uh, had the last temple without a boss, wouldn't it? Give me a sneak peek of what we're about to get ourselves into. What, yeah. what, what are we thinking, UDJ? Well, I'm just gonna let it speak for itself here. Okay. Okay, keep your secrets, this I guess. This is the wrong way. Oops. Oh. It's alright. Yeah, we have to go through the other door here. It's... it's a little disorienting uh, going around here because everything looks the same and uh, all the doors are labeled all the best. It would have been better if it was still a powered bomb door so I could at least tell which way it was. You know, let's not worry about it though. See, now you actually got me thinking. What on earth could they throw at you to be a boss for this temple? What? Yeah, what on earth? An ing mechon or something like that? Well, if you're thinking ings and mechs, that's a good place to think. Okay. Um... That's kind of it's been... This place is M.O. for the last little while. Yeah, yeah. It's ings and mechs, mechs and ings, ings taking over mechs, mechs getting taken over by ings. Mechings! Mechings. Me Mechinganoids, yeah. <laughs> Mechanical automatons taken over by dark beings. Wobos! <laughs> dark Wobos! Maybe just take a couple transformers and just you know, smash them together. You're going down, Megatron! He covers them in grape jelly, and then the ink gets the. And then you go up to your attic 13 years later and wonder what that smell is, and all the flies are gathered around your. Oh no! Beast wars. They've evolved into the ink. <laughs> oh no, the real ink! The insects are all over it. Have you ever. Wanted to go back to some of your nostalgic toys? No. Because most of my nostalgic toys I'm going to keep are my video games, really. No, that's true. There was a small amount of time where my family sold all the Transformers because I didn't want to play with them anymore. You know, we gave them to the Goodwill. And then for some reason, five years later, I saw a Transformers toy that I really wanted. So I, I guess I never truly grew up from them. Nostalgia more than meets the eye. Yeah, definitely. It, it was actually like Beast Wars, and I was like, oh man, I love that cartoon. And I also love the figures, and then it just like... The new, newer versions really sucked. So oh. we are now in the dark version of the reactor. And you are not taking damage. Hmm. Because that was a safe place. Oh, okay. This is a safe space for all. You'd be a little liberal with with uh, power bombs here, but uh, let's get that last key first. Last one? Mm -hmm. I thought we only had one. We got three. Oh, shit. Well, this one's the third one. There you go. Like, the actual third, or the third that you could get? Like, that's that's the third one. We got all three now. Oh. Well, shoot, where was I for the second one? It, it, remember, we had to go up that, that uh, elevator, and it was, like, behind that glass door. Oh, uh, yeah! There we go. Yeah. I was there for that. So there are uh, three rooms attached to this. Hmm. Not, not counting the, the way back, of course, that wide door we took. There's uh, this door up here, the door underneath, that's our save station, and then a door that leads to the temple. This place should look familiar. Yeah, we fought a dark lady here. Now we fight a bunch of warrior ings. We can be a little liberal here. <laughs> it shoots some sunbursts, <laughs> no problem. Just a nice uh, exploding star being shot directly at them. Fantastic. You know, we don't even need to worry about that. Just run along, run along. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Very welcome recharge station to help you for the boss ahead. Is it rough? Is it a hard boss? You can at least tell let's, me let's that, get right? Little, we're getting a little too far ahead of ourselves. Okay, there's, there's, okay. There's, pl there's plenty of time. There's plenty of time. I'm always thinking ahead, man. I try to chalk in as much as I can in these episodes, and trust me, you're gonna get your money's worth. Five steps ahead of you. Oh, I'm done like eight steps at least. I'm always thinking. What could I do to prepare for this fight? 
Because I noticed well, we're... See, this is nice because on the other side of this room, during, uh, behind that blue door, is the way to the temple, and therefore the boss. Oh, okay. Right underneath here is a save station. Even better. So you got to save and a recharge as you go into this difficult boss. Because this difficult boss is only difficult if you haven't been getting your missile expansions oh, no. and your energy tank collections. Oh no. It's another one of those speedrunners can do it, but it's still extremely difficult kind of things. Well, it's also you got the ticking time mechanic as well. There, yeah. are, there are no safe spaces in this place. What? There are no safe sp no uh, safe places. That's so mean. Mm -hmm. I know it is. I love it. This is why I'm glad you're doing it. Because I have a lot of patience as a gamer. For certain things, nah. It, it looks worse than it is, though, I'll tell you that much. Okay. And there we go. Oh, I thought you were saying that was the boss. It's just like, no, okay, I mean, like, we the, scanned the, the boss. There, there we go. There that's, we go, he died. That's, that's the third key, and now we can enter the temple. He just keels over from a heart attack. Oh no, the dark one! First time seeing the temple, correct? This one, at least. This one, yes. Okay. All right. And this is just the entrance to it. Yeah. Nice little foreboding. Hip, hip. Come door. on. Door. Open. Door. There we go. That thing is fucking huge. That's it the looks, dark automaton. It looks deactivated. I think we're safe. I yeah. can't wait till the ing take it over. Why would they do that? Because that's what they do. That's oh. th well. What makes you think that they're gonna do that? Look, it's deactivated. It's not moving at all. You Everything's also fine. piss them off, like more than usual. Okay, fair point. Like they see that they see you coming and just like free kill, free kill. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> let me introduce you to the Quadraxis. Oh. It is a gigantic <laughs> quadruped motherfucking mech. Dude! Oh, wow. A uh -huh. rogue high security drone. Heavily armed and armored mechanoid. Lightly armored foot joints are vulnerable to bomb and boost attacks. So you think, oh, I, I just uh, hit the, hit those down there, the, his, his feats with uh, bomb and boost, right? Well, that only gives you pickups. That doesn't do any damage. His knee joints are where he really takes damage. Oh, really? But you wouldn't know that because everything plinks off of it. Ow. What you gotta do is you gotta wait for his knee joints to become vulnerable when they flash blue like that. Oh. Interesting. Okay, okay. So that's like the first challenge here. Yeah, that, that uh... There are no safe spaces. You're constantly taking damage still. Hmm. Okay. And you're thinking, well, wait, if I just do the bomb and the boost part, that takes care of that, right? Then then, then you realize yep. it's not doing anything, and maybe it'll be far too late. Ow. He has a giant stomp attack, too. That's actually dealing a lot of damage to you. Yeah, he does. Cool. What it, th thankfully, though, you will know when a knee has been destroyed because you cannot lock onto it anymore. Oh, fantastic. So if you can't, like, if you can lock onto it, that means you can still take it out, and it'll still flash blue. <gasps> oh... But if you, but if you oh. lock, but uh, the, the knees you do destroy don't turn blue anymore. So, already, they're throwing us a bit of a bone. God, seeing that super missile whiff just, oh, my heart. Yeah, it, it, it's, it sucks. In fact, super missiles are the name of the game for this fight. Awesome. A lot of what you're going to want to do here is probably going to be bettered by the super missile. At least that's what I find. Well, I mean, super missiles are kind of like a catch-all. It's just like, hey, if you need to do a lot of damage very quickly, super missile it. Because it's accurate, and it hurts, and it's effective, and it's quick, and it's fast, and I think it even has a little bit of lock-on capabilities, too. I saw that, yeah, it actually he weaved into it. When you uh, destroy a knee joint, he will drop a lot of health. I recommend you pick that up immediately, especially if you haven't been getting all the E-tanks until now. Are you able to scan the joints to figure out that those are the weak points? No. Okay. So it's kind of just assumed. It's like, hey, you're not doing any damage, but this is turning blue? Maybe the fact that it turns blue and you can lock onto the knee joints would clue you in. Yeah, that'd do something. But if you're having a hard time and you're running out of missiles and health, you can probably boost and bomb jump his uh, his feet and get oh. some extra, extra pickups. 
God, this just takes me back to the early YouTube days. The, na the name Quadraxis, I had no idea where it came from, and Quadraxis 14 was a, a Retsupre victim. <laughs> mm. <laughs> there we go, and now I know where it comes from. It comes from Metroid Prime 2, because of course. They made 13 other Quadraxis. Hey, good and job. And that's, that's all of them. And now scan it quick. Yep, scan it. Scan it for dominance. Because now we're on to phase two. Detaches his head. He detaches his head from the body. Oh shit, I was right. Oh, hi. Oh, he's wibbly wobbly. Hang on, hang on. Just gotta... Yeah, there we go. So what was the point of the... the spire ball... thing? So... We got his, his head here. This is the shielded head module. Hmm. Now he's got a lock-on uh, attack, and he's got missiles, and he's got bullets, he's got a whole bunch of ammo, and he's taking high sonic transmissions from somewhere. Oh god, oh, oh god, ow. ow! Ow! Then everything gets blurry for a bit and I can't Woo. do anything. Then, we, ow. Oh, ow. We, we, ow. we scan this guy here. This is why you need the echo visor. This is the damage quadraxis. He is the one who is sending the sonic tactical data. Of course. So what you do is you go to the Echo Visor, you see that he's uh, shooting that. Two super missiles right to it, we'll take it out. And... He shouldn't when, be able to do anything. When that happens, you scan this guy. Unshielded. For he, for he is now a stunned head module. Uh, of course. He can now take damage, but don't just shoot at him, because he won't take damage. What you gotta do, is you gotta shoot the antenna that he has in the Echo Visor. Oh, good lord. Okay. One or two super missiles usually does the trick. He moves around erratically though, so it might be hard to lock on. Alright! Repeat that two more times. He also drops dark quads as well. Eh, this boss fight isn't too bad. Seems pretty standard by this point. Like, you've already been fighting these things for a long time if you're going by the route that you're going in, so... I mean, I mean compared to the Chica, this guy's this guy's not that bad. Oh, I hated the whale thing. Yeah. The, the whale fly. Fuck that. This has just got a lot of complicated and uh, not very specific phases to the fight. But it's a lot more fun, a lot more involved. I like this a lot. Like, this this feels like... Th th this feels like the second uh, phase of the Chica fight spread to, uh, like, a whole boss fight. And actually fun. This part isn't as fun, though. Yeah... I don't, I don't like these guys I, showing up and making everything hard for me. It's a, it's a little on the rude side, gotta admit. Especially when the heads and uh, places reattach. Being a little liberal with the uh, power bombs, I know. I'm also being a, little, a bit liberal with the term liberal. Hey, you got seven of them. I mean, don't all liberals have power bombs? That uh, well, yeah, but these ones actually do stuff. Whoa! <laughs> Kill those sentries. Getting a little uh, heated here because you guys won't <laughs> die, and he's just, man, we just and also because you're being hit by a heat beam. And he's shooting at me, and they're all shooting at me, and I'm, I don't have all the missiles in the world. And I'm still taking damage. I'm being attacked. I'm down Help. three E tanks. Out of your like. I, I think you're close to, like, uh, exactly 10 million? Three so E-tanks out of my 13. Yeah, I think I think you'll be fine. So I'm not saying you need to get every E-tank in order to survive this battle, but... Just a lot of them. A lot of this depends on you not knowing exactly what to do, and therefore taking a lot of your uh, health away. I guess technically you don't But have another thing to... that can happen is... Where'd he go? Wait, where? I can't... I lost him! Where is he? Where'd he go? I can't f Where'd he go? Oh, he's gaining health back. I can't fucking find him! He's gaining health back. Where'd he go? Uh-oh. Where is he? Spaghetti -os. Oh, he dropped- He was on- He was above me the whole time! And he drops more mechs. Ah, uh, so uh, no! Do you have to kill the mechs? Yeah, you do. Why? They're gonna, they're gonna harass you unless you do something. Well, I mean, they're not really dealing a lot. Yeah, but they're also gonna, like, get in your way, and if you try to do the sonic visor and you get hit by them, well then, guess what's not gonna happen? Uh, using the sonic the visor? You'll get- you'll get sent right back to the combat visor. Oh. Oh, ew, I didn't know that. 
I thought you could just use the visor. Didn't think you had to actually protect. You gotta concentrate, of course. Oh, well, okay. That wasn't too bad. Just okay, I know where he is now. All right. I got a beat on him. Let's do this. Come on. So, yeah, he's directly above you. And now... All right, turn around. there. He, he even was gonna lock onto me, so now I got it all... And, and there's a third one. And there is the... Third one. Okay, so he wasn't actually healing. It looked like it, though. So now his brain is exposed. Exposed brain! He's broken the glass on the legs here, and now the spider tracks seem to make sense. <laughs> oh, got it. This is the final phase and probably the most, uh... Annoying. Sure. Well, Scan it one more time for the fifth and final head. The final head module. <laughs> that means that this th this guy is gonna die. Two weak main points. Yeah. Concussive blast. Yep. All right. So what you do here is you I use light beam here. Charge light beam sends him in like a whoa no. Then he starts spinning around. What you got to do is you got to figure out which direction he's going. So he's going this way. So I'll go in this one. Spider ball your way up here. And then. And then it. The camera angle and my death perception don't work well, but you gotta boost and well, you see, a little, little, little too soon, a little too late, I'd say. I see. So, bash into him. Y yeah. And of course, it's a limited amount of time. He's back at it, and he knows he knows that I got his number, so he's trying to hide from me. I see you. I see you. Please don't get me. Please. I'm not touching you. Oh, right. Yes, I am. So which way is he turning? He's going to go that way. Yeah. Right. Well, you you can actually. This way, so I'll pop yeah. on this one right here. Wait for him. And uh, let's try Patui. this one. Right now! Right now! Now! Ah! You seem to get the timing down. Depth perception is my specialty. All right. Right now! Maybe I can get it one more time. Right now! Uh, right now! Oh, oh, all right. Oh, hey, it works. Oh, too late! Oh! Ah, no. Do you have to use power bombs? You have to... He has two exposed bomb slots on his brain there. Ah, okay. I didn't see those. So mercifully, it's just a twofer. Okay. Right now. Now. Oh, yes! I got it. Yeah. All right, All right. Boom. Then. Bam. That's one half of his brain on fire. It, a little pause there in stasis. <laughs> he also drops power ups, which you might be needing at this point. I thought he. Yeah, yeah. So, so much for what's power ups. He, what's he's he firing just, at? Yeah, me? he's just using a bunch of heat-seeking missiles. It's like, ah, take this. This is for bombing my brain slots. What I like is that he doesn't have an everything pr uh, proof shield. He doesn't have oh, any no uh -uh damage in this phase. But for the second one, he's going to move a little faster and a little bit more erratically. And right now. Oh, wait. Nope. Now, right now. There we go. Hi. And boop. Ah! That's how you spank Quadraxis. I mean, kind of spanked you a little bit. What was that 5e tanks? That's well, okay. Well, for constantly taking damage, it's not bad. Actually, yeah. It relies on you not having enough, enough missiles, it relies on you not having enough E-tanks, it relies on you not knowing exactly how to damage it, and it relies on you, you know, yeah, just, yeah. And you got to do the superhero landing, which is always good by me. What's this, though? The Mind Reader Visor. Well, now it's checking to see if we have enough beam expansions. This here is our last beam upgrade. The Oreo Beam! The Annihilator Beam! <laughs> uh, pardon? This uses both! Yep, I knew it! Dark and light <laughs> Oreo energy. Oreo Beam, yeah! It is not as strong as, the, as a fully charged light beam. It is not as strong as a fully charged dark beam. It doesn't give the added fire from the charged light beam. It doesn't add the, the, the freezing power from a dark beam. But it does have its own merits and its own usages. Looks cool. It looks cool, and it's uh, very crucial for getting some of the late game stuff. And oh, trust me, it has a purpose. Was it firing one of each or alternating? One of each. Okay. One light ammo plus one dark ammo will get you one annihilator beam. It cannot open light or dark doors. What? Only only the specific beam can do that. Oh, good but lord. But when you kill things or, or blow open item crates... You get both? It can give you both. Yes. So there is that. All right. There's also some things you can do with the beacons, but uh, <laughs> you'll see later how well that works. <laughs> see, that intonation could have gone either way. It's just like, you'll see how that works. It's just like, oh, no, is it bad? Oh, no, it's actually very I'm good. Sure, I'm sure the cackle would... Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
Well, Dark Ether, uh, I think I will take the rest of the energy that you have stolen from Ether, if you don't mind. I'll just go ahead and- This won't hurt a bit! Take that down from you! The way she just puts her hand on the reactor is just like, it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna take that energy, thank you! This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. <laughs> because I have nerve endings! <laughs> but why my energy? Samus, no. So we've taken all the energy from Dark Ether. Perfect. Cool. That means that it shouldn't be here anymore, right? <sighs> I wonder. So why is it still here? I wonder if Dark Samus is a lovely beacon of dark energy so powerful that the Phazon is creating Dark Ether itself. Well, I will tell you, there is one more energy controller. We've re we, see, we've, we've restored the energy to Light Ether. We have we have all the stolen energy back, but they've got one more energy controller that's basically keeping the lights on, the support beam to the house, if you will. So if uh, we if we take out this will. last energy controller, which is the fina the finale of the game, obviously, mm -hmm. then Dark Ether will cease to be. Perfect. Hey, weren't there two other doors? There's one other door. Oh. But we don't need to go that way now. Okay. We'll be back. We, 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 we're gonna do plenty of backtracking still because we have to get all these Sky Temple keys. We've gotta scan this here. This is a super beacon. <laughs> you shoot one of these things with an, with an, uh, an annihilator beam, not only does it supercharge the beacon, it actually attracts dark enemies to it, killing them instantly. That's awesome. If you jump on that ledge up there, you can screw attack your way up here. It's kind of tricky. I like the Annihilator Beam. I don't love it, but I like it. Oh, it's just the name. And the fact that it shoots light and dark. That's just neat. Okay, we gotta go to the white door down here. Can I do something cool here? Probably not, because these tentacles are a pain in my ass. Do something cool, UDJ. Oh, no, I you didn't You did something cool, UDJ. <laughs> I didn't do something cool. I messed up something cool is what do I did. Do something cooler, UDJ. Uh, don't worry, we, we can still do it here. Let's see. Those two pillars of light you see over there, that's the way that to uh, the temple. We go opposite of that way, though. That's the way back. Right underneath that back of the white door that we were here at. That's cool, UDJ! Yeah, all right! <laughs> you did it! That's a safe station, I went the wrong way. Proving that I'm not go in the correct place right now. I, I do love that <laughs> there was the pause as you're waiting for the door to open. I'm just being like, okay, okay. Wait. You dig it. Hang oh. on. Even worse, it's not, not, not here. Damn it. But over here on this side because there's a wall separating it. What? Yeah. Okay. There we go. So you can't use the annihilator beam on, you said you can't use it on regular light and dark doors? You can use it to open portals though of any kind. Oh, that's nice. So I can't use an annihilator beam to open this door. I gotta use a light beam. But I can open the portal with anything I want. See, I was about to question that's really stupid, but Oops. not Shoot it. really. Get one for the beacon and one for the crystal. Ah, super crystal. We're almost done with the Luminoff technology. We're almost done with the logbook, actually. Oh my god. There's really not much left. It's wrapping up, It baby. really is wrapping up, oh yeah. We are entering the end game now! Oh my god, are you telling me the next episode's the finale? No. Oh, I know. No. <laughs> I know. I think we got another two weeks left still. Oh my god, there's so much to this game. And it's mainly just because you have to jump between two different worlds. So. Now... We are, uh... Well, there's a couple more things we can get. Using our brand new Annihilator Beam. We got... Here in the reactor, we have a new type of locked door. Three keys, four locks. This is a sound puzzle. You shoot this with an with Annihilator Beam. And it plays a sequence. We gotta determine what that sequence is from these three locks. So it's... The one closest, and then the one by the elevator here, and then this one, twice. I was about to ask, where's the fourth noise? Issue an orb cannon. <laughs> there! You blew it up, 
you maniac! Why? No, no more reactor for the Sanctuary Fortress! Can't make any more mechs now! <laughs> Actually worth it. Alright, now let's bring this energy back. After we're done with this place, the Luminoth won't need to create mechs. Unless they want a self-defense force. I mean, that's to, that, that's up to, to them. I'm not going to tell them what yeah. they can and can't uh, do. Right, I mean, right. We don't we don't want to be. They, a, they're a free people. I'm not totalitarian. totalitarian. I'm not, you know, yeah, I'm maybe their savior, but I'm not their leader. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've done we, well we on their own. This is this is a wartime. I mean, just imagine and I, you know, if we I'm ruled a soldier, with an iron fist. Not a politician. Oh right. I can't I can't lead these people. I mean, they know their world better than I. Fuck the Federation too. I mean, just imagine if they came in. You know, you know what the Federation or whatever right now. I was helping them, but now it is actually for the Luminoth. And you know, it's just just help them off people. Yeah, yeah. It's just so easy. To help them off, yeah, yeah. In fact, we're gonna help them even more, but we're gonna give them back the energy Whee! that they lost. Whee! Man, this is exciting. I've never gotten this far in the game before. Hello, I am the light bringer. I bring the light. After you know, transitioning the door, it's fine. <laughs> I would actually kind of love it if Samus like preemptively got out of the out of the switch and just like held out the hello pose as but the electricity like, is kind of holding her in place, so she's kind of like her <laughs> arms and legs splayed out, like little help. Well, Sorry, well, oh. I uh halfway out of morph ball and just her uh, lower back gets stuck. Come uh, Enjoy your energy, Luminoth. Man, we just saved this entire planet. With 99% of their power. Damn it. Es so essentially, yeah. Gotta find that generator that's being held together by, you know, duct tape and gasoline. Now that we've uh, reactivated all three energy controllers, I guess we gotta go talk to Yumos one more time. So we can get our final orders, I suppose. But man, that just feels so good. I mean, this was a planet that had literally embers left in their energy and in their time left. And then here we come in with some starter fluid, a whole thing of matches, and for good measure, a flamethrower. And now we got this whole, you know, you know this, you know, an entire inferno of energy and positivity that burns brightly for this planet. How convenient that we showed up as things were getting the most dire. Well, I mean, the Federation finding out about uh, the pirates, that was uh, yeah, pretty dire to begin yeah, with. That's very dire, yes. It's like their situation was already bad, and then it got worse. We have avenged the last of the Luminoth warriors. Now, let's go talk to Yumos. We, Sounds we could, like a plan. We could end prematurely, and but I think we, I think we really want to talk to Yumos right now. Is he gonna give us a new suit? I really think we want to talk to Yumos right now. Okay, it's a really good idea. Besides, there's a power up or two we can get on the way. It's time for Yumos to die in a cutscene. I'm calling no, it right no, now. No, no, nothing like Dark that. Dark Samus comes over and puts a no, cap no, in no. his this is, ass. No, 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 this is a positive moment gonna destroy Positivity, the Luminoth. man! That's all this is! Ooh, everything's so bright now. So, turn over here. We can go through these gray doors now. Cookies and cream door. Blast them away. This is Behind these doors is where they had a lot of the uh, end game stuff. No. Oh. Like, more powerful enemies, or just... Like, the last few power-ups and stuff. Oh, perfect. The last few things to link everything together. What the hell are those things? I noticed we, you're like- we, we fought them before. Oh, I- Got another one of these locks. Oh. Alright, yeah. listen closely. That was two tones. So, right. Right. Left. Right. <laughs> Who even needs a third tone? Get it out of here. Do do. Oh my god, all the missiles. Can't even carry all these missiles. Look at them. Alright, now we can go back to Yumos. Let's get out of here. But I wanted a more. We'll have it we'll have time for more. Trust me. We're gonna be going all around the map trying to find the Sky Temple keys. Looking for more. Sky Temple Key uh, didn't we just get those? No! What? We got regular temple keys. And now, if we want to get to the big bad energy controller where they're we're holding the last of the energy, oh. we have to get the nine Sky Temple keys. <laughs> Which are this game's chosen <laughs> artifacts. Chosen artifacts, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. 
Well, that's okay. It, it just shows that the, the game is uh, wrapping up in a nice little package. This is also a chance for you to go throughout the level and go through any rooms you haven't yeah. gone through yet. You maybe get some pickups you haven't picked up yet. Try and get some logbook scans if they haven't been, uh, you know, gone already. What? Uh, I donked. I'll give Metroid this. They don't have many points of no return where you can't go back and, like, get stuff. I mean, there's logbooks that you can't get. Like, after you beat the bosses, yeah. And certain other ones, but... In terms of power-ups, you can never miss any power-ups, I don't think. That's good. Pretty- n no, you can't. You cannot. Only logbook entries. Yeah, now that I know I'm doing my screw attack, these things are, uh, not messing with me. Oh shit, she got the screw attack. Uh-huh, uh -oh. that's right. That's right. Please, no. I have a child made of glitches. Please. Spare me. Ow. Okay, 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 jeez! <laughs> He's saying spare me as constantly shooting you in the back of the head. It's just like, okay, 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 <laughs> fine, <laughs> ow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, gotcha! Annihilator Beam takes out these things, too. God, Annihilator Beam. I know... This is like an official beam. And <laughs> Murder Beam is unofficial. They just sound so cool. Murder Beam. Annihilator Beam. It's basically diluting both the light and dark beam to work as one supercharged regular beam. Yeah, It works. It, well, it, it, it could be worse. It also makes sense why... You know, shooting both colors at a different colored door doesn't work. Is because they cancel each other out. And besides, if you got like another beam that had its that like this, say we got the wave beam instead of the annihilator beam, that means that we would just lean on the wave beam the entire time. Yeah, and not use light or dark. And I don't think the game wants us to do that. So by using annihilator beam, we can still shuffle between all four beams and missiles. See, it's all, it's all designed for a reason, I'm pretty sure, at least. Now, now you've got me wondering, is there a super missile for the Annihilator Beam? And we just call it, like, the Destruction Beam. The Ender Beam. Hmm. Oh, Niskodama strikes again. Hmm. Give me the big power-up. Are you, are you really Niskodama, Nisko or are you just trying to locate patterns? I like patterns, okay? Well, you found the pattern, okay? There's a super missile upgrade for the Annihilator Beam, too. Super Annihilator. We're gonna, we're gonna get that, too, <laughs> don't worry. Yes! Right now we gotta talk to Yumo so we can get the last thing we need. Oh, that looks fucking sweet! Don't it, though? That looks so cool! Too bad cool. it sucks a crock of shit! Hey, it's it's fine. It looks cool. I don't care if it's functional. It looks neat. So for five light and five dark, you can shoot something less than a super missile. <laughs> no thanks. Well, we need to actually find the super annihilator. So we can use, what, 30 of both? <laughs> Light, dark, and missiles. Yeah, uh, it just drains the entire thing. Geez. But it, it turns out it actually crashes the game. Check it. And now you can do one and one half super missile in one blast. Oh, one and a half? Cool. I think. Maybe. No. Nope. Still not worth it. It also takes twice as long to power up, so it's just like, <laughs> all right, best of both worlds. Just use super missiles. Thank you. You tried. Oh, I can't wait for this. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. A little giddy schoolboy over there. Ooh. What, what's, what seems to have your uh, seems to have your Jimmy's in a rustle, my friend? Oh, I'm just really excited to talk to Yumos. You know, he's a really good guy, and I can't wait to see the look on his face when we, when we tell him that we've saved his fucking planet. God, I love the he's, fact he, that I he, called he was be, evil one episode in. He's gonna be so happy with us. He's gonna be like so like, fucking so dead. giddy. I can't I can't so wait. Oh, dead. I cannot wait. Died of old age. So you're too negative, man. <laughs> You've been playing too many shit anime games. You've been playing, oh. too, you've been playing too much Dongan Rampa where bad things happen all the time. No, no, no. Nothing but good from here on out. Uh huh. I am not even fucking with you. Uh huh. I, hey, hey. I, I doubt that. Hey. Yeah? I am not even fucking with you. Wide eyed. Look directly nothing, in my eyes. Nothing. Mm hmm. But good stuff now. Yeah. Let's see. This is not supposed to be, you know, some dramatic, de you know, shock death. This is, okay, now let's end this fight! Yo, what's up? The light of ether shines from all three temples once more. And yet, dark ether remains. One energy controller still shines in the darkness, sustaining the world. The support beam to the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the little dance. Sky temple, it. dark shadow yeah. of this hallowed place holds the final energy controller. The greatest and most powerful beast of the Ing keeps guard 
over what you seek. Dark Samus. The nine keys to the Sky Temple have been hidden in each land of the Dark World. <laughs> Finding them will be perilous, but... I offer you this blessed suit of armor. I know it! Energized by the light of Ether itself. Yes! Its power will help you reach these final keys. The light suit. So now that we've gotten all the light from Ether, he's going to harness yes. all of that light and put it into the form of a power suit that we are going to take with us. Light suit, light suit, light suit. Let's see it. No more Ooh. ugly gray brown. Ooh. Disgusting. Ever since we got this dumb looking rusted red pile of garbage, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I've been waiting for this. Ladies and gentlemen, we go from the ugly a suit to one of the best looking suits in the whole series. Give me that light of ether, baby! <laughs> uh, thanks for the golden shower, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, introducing the light suit. Woo! Damn! Chrome colored beauty. Form fitting, too. Jesus! Yes! Love this suit! Wow! Now I feel like I'm ready to take on anything! You can now ride along the beams of light! Ride along the beams of light. Y yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's not what's important. They leave out one important detail. You no longer take damage in Dark Aether. Complete immunity yes. from almost every single form of environmental hazard. It took so long, but we Dark are here. Dark Aether, nothing. Poison water from Dark Ether. Nothing. Nothing. Phase on. So, okay. Okay, we're still taking damage from Phase on. Still space That's, cancer. Yeah. yeah still, st still space cancer. I mean, this, this light of Ether, not you know the the. the it's pet not a miracle suit. worker. It's, it's not the pet suit we get from uh, Metroid Prime Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, next time, on Metroid Prime Two Echoes. Light suit. Light suit. Light. The hunt. Light suit. For the Sky Temple keys begins. But I guess first we should maybe. Uh, find this sky temple. I think that seems important. Oh. It's gonna well, be all yeah, we should do that. A lot of lore and a lot of backtracking, but a lot of uh, really interesting parts, and we're gonna have the light suit to do it, too. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and, uh, well, I, th I think you're gonna enjoy yourself, too, especially when we're looking in this thing of beauty. Man, I love it! What's up? I've got new car smell. Oh, it's a... Mm, yes! <sighs> Chrome! Beautiful. Yes! Well... I'm in a good mood now. I'm gonna fire my <laughs> Annihilator Beam a few times. And we'll see you on the next episode.